How's it going, everyone? Needle Mouse here. So, Prime Season 3. When I went on my socials, I was terrified of watching it. People were saying this show was awful, and that Season 3 was one of the worst thing they have ever watched in Sonic history. So when I sat down and watched it, I prepared myself for the worst. And when I came out, I was more confused than anything else. The overwhelming hatred towards this show led me to believe I was in a Forces situation. Something that I desperately did not want to see because Forces made me feel soulless. And I was scared that Prime Season 3 would. But I liked it. I know, cue the dum 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 sound effects and the people gasping. But I really liked it. I did like Sonic Prime Season 3. Now, is it peak fiction 10 out of 10 would rewatch every month? No, absolutely not. I would not come back to the show in a long time. But is this some sort of trash or the worst Sonic thing ever? No, it's not by a long shot. Today, I want to talk about how Sonic Prime Season 3 was actually kind of great. Alright, but a quick recap on my opinions on Sonic Prime. I personally really enjoyed the first two seasons of Prime. I didn't think they were perfect, to be fair, but I did have quite a bit of fun with almost every episode, I'd say. I especially enjoyed the episodes with Shadow. God, he is so good in this show. But I enjoyed the first two seasons, so when season three rolled around, my hopes were pretty high. Until, of course, I checked my socials and saw that this was supposed to be the worst thing ever, so that made me feel terrified. But as I sat down, I watched through all seven episodes in one sitting, and I came out with a lot of mixed feelings. Let's start with the pacing of Prime Season 3. And this is by far the worst part about this season. The pacing and the ending. But we'll get to the ending in a little bit. The pacing is really weird. The first three episodes are genuinely really cool. Like, really cool. I have fellow content creators who hate Prime <laughs> come to me and say, I genuinely enjoyed the first three episodes and that they were cooking with these first three episodes. But the biggest problem is the whole giant fight sequence. It drags on for way too long. Like midway through like episode five, I was like, oh, oh, I see, oh, I see the problem. See, see. It is way too long. I hate how long it is, in fact. I think Wild Brain probably ran out of ideas what to do for season three. It, it was just Sonic and friends defeat uh, robots, but nine creates more. They defeat those, nine creates more. They defeat those, nine creates more, and so on and so forth. And the entirety of episode three and forward is Sonic going like, Nine, this isn't you, you gotta stop. And then Nine going like, I'm gonna kill you. And then Sonic going again, Nine, this isn't you, you shouldn't be doing this. Nine, nine going like, I'm gonna kill you. Like, it was all over the place. And after that back and forth, after everything, it just sort of ends with... Nine being like, oh, okay, I think you're right. I'm gonna stop now. Just like that. Really weird. I didn't like it. But there is a couple of things that this show does well. Okay, we gotta talk about the characterization in this show. Sonic Prime started out with pretty bad characterization. I still think that some of the characters haven't been fleshed out completely. My main issue was with Sonic. Sonic acted too much of a irresponsible kid. But season 3 shows Sonic taking responsibility into his own hands. And I understand the issue that people have with season 3 Sonic, that he, he consistently tries to make 9 change and to have 9 not be a bad guy. But the thing is, I think I like this Sonic uh, more because that's what Sonic is. In IDW, notice how Sonic was willing to see a better Eggman as Mr. Tinker. I know it's a weird thing to compare it to, but even as mortal enemies, Sonic wants to see the best in anyone. So of course he would want to get Nine onto his side. And Nine is literally a version of Tails, his best friend. Of course he'd want to try and save him. And oh my lord, Shadow the Hedgehog. I mentioned him in my Prime review, but oh my god, he is amazing in this show. The greatest character in this show, and the greatest incarnation of Shadow the Hedgehog since Sonic 06. He's amazing, he's caring, he's compassionate, but he's serious, he actually wants to get things done. He and Sonic are friends, and this is something that I cannot stop stressing. I love seeing them as friends. Keyword is friends, just friends. 
Shadow is a character who's supposed to be at by the end of SA2 and Heroes and Shadow after he regains all of his memories. He's supposed to be Sonic's friend, not close friends, not someone he'll have goofy adventures with, but a friend, someone that Sonic can rely upon. And Shadow in Prime does exactly that. In fact, he saves Sonic in the end. But speaking of the ending, let's get to that because, um, ooh. It's bad. The ending of the show pulls a Sonic 06. I can't believe I'm saying this, but it, it genuinely pulls a Sonic 06. Once Shadow brings Sonic back to Green Hill, all of the events of the show are erased. No one remembers anything except for Sonic himself and potentially Shadow. We don't know if Shadow remembers. He doesn't show that he does, but he doesn't show that he doesn't know anything. The entire timeline of Prime has been erased, which is like such a disappointing thing because Shadow's verse is gone, which on the one hand, yeah, we lose like the Chaos Council, which is great because I, I never want to see them again, but then we also lose great characters like Nine and uh, Rebel Knuckles and Rebel Rouge or whatever their names were. I loved those characters. Like, I genuinely liked when they were on screen. Knuckles with a Boston accent goes hard. And there were a lot of really cool characters in Prime that were other versions of other characters. And just like that, with a snap of the fingers, they're all gone. Reduced to, Reduced to atoms. Just gone. Which is so disappointing. And then it has the balls to leave on a sorta cliffhanger. It's a sorta cliffhanger. It's it's literally like the adventure continues. It's also like the story could continue. But overall, I felt so dissatisfied with the ending because what would have been amazing, instead of Nine bringing back Green Hill, I would have loved for Shattered Sonic to return. The super form we got at the end of season two. Fully maxed out with all of the Paradox Prism to return and literally rebuild the universe. Versus. That would have been amazing, but of course we didn't get that now. Let's close this off with my overall thoughts I think that Sonic Prime is a great show uh, It's my second favorite Sonic show behind Sonic X, but there are really big issues with the show It is unfortunate but there are. I liked my time with Prime. I thought that season three ended a lot weaker than it should have, but it was pretty fun overall. My final rating for Sonic Prime, the entire show is 7.5 out of 10. The 0.5 got lost because season three was not as good as I was hoping, but overall, Prime is a pretty good show, and if they announced a another batch of episodes, I would be so down, because the animation is so beautiful, and hearing all of the feedback, Wild Brain could really really try and cook something up and before i end off this video i need to say something and that is y'all need to stop hating on the team ian flynn is an amazing man and i saw so much hatred for flynn on social media so undeserved to a person who showed us he can do amazing things and he has done amazing things to the franchise giving us beautiful sonic stories in idw and bringing back amazing characterization in sonic frontiers he had no creative he, he couldn't control anything in Sonic Prime. He just oversaw it. He couldn't do anything. He didn't have any control over it. That was Wild Brain. I feel so bad for Flynn being hated on so much that he has to make an official statement on Twitter. So before I leave off this video, I want to say be normal people and do not hate on amazing people like Flynn. Do not hate on anyone. Please. Please do not hate on anyone. But with that, thank you guys all so much for watching. I hope you guys are having a wonderful day wherever you are in the world, and I'll see you all next time. Ciao!